Come last, come last more for us, I said, No, it's a terrific performance from us today. Um, obviously, we're usually disappointed not to get all three points. Uh, we felt at half time that we had to go for that second goal, obviously, and we had enough chances to get it. The keepers made a good save. We had other moments where we may could have done better. And you know, Fulham have got some very good players, and you know, they're going to throw caution to the wind. And you know, they've got that equaliser late on, which you know. You know, it was a real disappointment for us, but in terms of the way the lads applied themselves today, the way they stuck to the game plan, the way we looked threatening when, when we broke, there were so many good aspects of the play and uh, we move on to, to Sunderland on Tuesday in good spirits. Yeah, you couldn't have asked much more in terms of obviously the lads putting the literal put themselves on the line to defend that lead. Yeah, that was some heroic defending at times, but you know, if you're going to come to a place like Fulham, you're going to, you're going to have to show that, the goalkeeper's going to have to play well. The back four, well, everybody in the team's got to put in a disciplined performance. But I think it was more than just a battling performance today. You know, we showed good quality on the ball when we broke, and um, you know, we looked like we could score. And our attacking players looked as threatening, if not more threatening, than theirs. And um, you know, we took Sammy off in the second half because he was cramping up. And um, obviously, you know, once a player starts cramping up, you've got to get him off the pitch. Um, but he put in a great performance against Tessignon, who's a player everybody's talking about. And you know, we said to Sammy that this lunchtime that what a great challenge for him to come here against a player that you know a lot of Premiership clubs are looking at. And um, can you get the better of him on both both sides of the game? And I felt he did that today. Of course, he did that with another goal as well. Yeah, it's a great finish from Sammy. He's been scoring all the time in training, and uh, you know it was, it was a terrific finish. But he did well today, Sam. I thought he had a very good game. Well, obviously, we're leaving one point, but the fans who travelled down here today have seen a real performance, and they will be pleased leaving here today. Yeah, I think they've. They'll be exactly the same as I am. Uh, frustrated, it's not all three points, but you know, they can't ask for any more from, from the group of players out there today. They just they've given us absolutely everything. Um, and we've just got to make sure that the late goal doesn't knock us going into to Tuesday night's game. We've just got to play like we did today. And you know, each game we're looking more threatening going forward. And um, you know, there's a lot of good aspects of our play today. Um, so yeah, we move on. Tuesday, Sunderland could be a different kind of challenge, but a hard one nonetheless. Yeah, every game is tough. And, you know, we're three games unbeaten, and the one prior to this little run was Aston Villa when we deserved something out of the game. Um, so in the last three games, you know, we've looked at a good, strong, professional side uh, with quality, and uh, the quality level is getting better with, with the players we've got back from injury. And um, you know, all in all, you know, we're pleased with the progress we're making. But I'd love to, to have been all three points.